Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these beaded spiders. I used to do them a lot when I was a kid and when I found beads hidden away in my stash of um, my mountains of craft supplies, I thought this was a sign to do them again. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're not already and you would like to be, why not subscribing as well. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Alright, so for material you will need an head pin. You will need two biggish beads, uh, one bigger than the other and make sure that the smaller one has a big enough hole. And you will need some glass beads and some longer glass beads. You will also need some pliers and you will need eight strands of jewelry wire. I'm using a 0.4 millimeter diameter wire and you will need strands that are between 10 and 12 centimeters. Now first thing you're going to take your head pin and you're going to take the bigger beads that you have. That's going to be for the butt of the spider or the abdomen if you prefer. And we are going to put it in the I pin. Next you're going to take four strands of your jewelry wire. You're going to group them together and we are going to uh, wrap them around the head pin just as I'm doing. I'm going to take a flat nose uh, plier to help me out and I'm going to wrap it around the head pin no more than two times so not to get it too bulky and the little sticky ends I'm going to wrap them around the head pin as well. That's how it looks like when it's done and I can push it towards the bigger bit. And next you're going to do the exact same thing with the other four th strands of wire but you're going to wrap them around on the other direction from the other wires. So once your wire is in place you're going to have uh, two sets of wire on either side of your bead and you're going to push everything towards the uh, end of your eye bead. Next I'm going to put a bit of glue on this blob of wire. Um, only have hot glue but if you have E6000 or something similar it's perfect. And then I'm going to glue it to... Uh, I'm going to put the other bead in and I have to make sure there is a hole big enough so I can uh, hide my wire. So now it should look like this and the hardest part is done. I can uh, clip my eye pin to size and then use a round nose plier to um, make a loop with the end of my head pin. Alright, so now we are going to start with the legs and it's just a succession of different sized beads. You can get really creative with this. So I did a long bead followed by three smaller glass beads and I used white, green and white. And I kept on repeating this pattern until I had five long beads. Once my fifth long bead is on, I am finishing it off with one single white bead. Now I have all my beads in place. I have a single white bead at the end and I'm going to uh, close my wire. So with my plier I'm going to bend my wire around the white bead and then I'm going to wrap this wire around that bead just to make it extra secure. You could put a blob of glue if you wanted to but it kind of stands on its own. So once you have done all your legs, that's how it looks like. So all you need to do is shape your uh, legs to make it look like how you want it. Uh, there's no wrong or right way. You could be done there if you wanted to. But if you want to uh, transform it into a charm, you can put a jump ring on either side of your spider. Alright guys, that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video and you will enjoy making these little creepy spiders. If you do, why not sending me a picture on Tumblr, Facebook, uh, Twitter or Instagram so I can see your creations. I would love to see them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!